What is going on YouTube? My name is Escape Boss and welcome to something that some of my subscribers have requested and it is to go through some of the basic things in WireMod. Um, obviously, um, I can't go through all of this. There are so many tools and I don't know what half of this shit does. But what I can do is kind of give you a basic understanding of how it works and then you can look up div the different tools, I guess, on some wiki or whatever. And, um, perhaps maybe you can figure out how to weld them together and make them work together. But, we're just gonna get straight into it now. Um, so, the thing with wire is that, you, of course, you have to download it first and you can find this in the Steam Workshop. Um, I think that you can just subscribe to it and it'll have all of this, all of the things here. Um, of course, maybe you do have some other version of wire mod, you don't have the search thing, I don't know. Uh, there are basically... Basically, there can be things that vary. I don't know, but uh, hopefully it looks the same and hopefully you can figure it out. So, first thing first, um, the thing with wire that I like to use a lot is, or let's just say, um, okay, so with wire, um, the thing is, you can really, really uh, do lots of different stuff because uh, in the normal Garage mod, you are actually limited to your keyboard, but in wire, like keyboard for activating stuff, but in wire, you don't really have to um, restrict yourself to the keyboard. You can, but you don't have to. And this, well, I'm going to show you the, the basics of a button, which is very, very simple. Um, and, of course, you know the things with the button, but as you might notice here, there's, there aren't really any... Uh, keys that you can activate this thing with you're gonna have to click on it uh, with your use key It's probably E if everything's set to default. So let's go ahead and just select something. We're gonna have uh, Let's just say like enter. It doesn't really matter Toggle you know, you know all these things, but value on and value off this can be important um, If you are activating something that has to have a value for example a thruster that you want to go with a specific value or if you want a spawner to or a forcer, for example, to have a different force. This is where, when the value is set to on, it'll change the value of the thing that the button is connected to. But for now, we're gonna have to set it to one, and you can, of course, type whatever you want in here. Uh, you're not really restricted to the scroll bar there. And, of course, value off is to zero, because we want it to turn it off when we are done. So let's go ahead and set that. Actually, let's remove the toggle for one second. And we can search for, let's just have a prop spawner for an example here. Um, and let's spawn this prop. Doesn't really matter what it is. Okay, so when wiring things up with wire mod, you're going to search for wire, or find it. Here we go. Now, when you look at different wire stuff, you're gonna notice that there'll be a menu full of things that you can activate. Now, for this specific prop spawner, we have some, uh, we have some some things that we can do. We have a, we have a spawn input, we have an undo input, and then we have two things that I don't really know. Spawn effect, I don't really know. There's probably a lot of stuff. I don't, there's a lot of stuff I don't know about wire, okay? But doesn't matter. I think the main ones are the uh, spawn and the undo. So we could also have a have an undo button. But let's start with the spawn. So you're gonna click on it, and then you will see when you point at the button that it'll now have something that says outputs out. So, when you click here, we should now have created a wire between these two things, which means they're connected. And you can also see when you look at the prop spawner that spawn is now red, which means that it is connected to something. So you can always know how it, if it is connected or not. And if I, have, of course, I want this to, to remove this connection, I can look with my wiring tool at the thing, select whatever I want, and then I can undo it by pressing R and it'll delete the wiring thing, whatever it's wired to that thing. So let's just go ahead and do this again. Now, if I click on the button, it'll spawn a barrel. Now, I think I've set the power spawn to delete it after a certain time. Yeah, after 15 seconds, it's going to delete, as you can see here. Uh, but that value could be changed by a button, for example. Um, I could also have a button that deleted the prop whenever I clicked on it. And that would just basically be wiring uh, the undo thing to another button. So, that's basically how you wire stuff together and how buttons work. So now, now you can see here, this will only be activated, and now this can be activated by anyone. It's not only restricted to one player. Okay, so let's just delete all of this. Now, another thing that wire can do that I think is very, very useful. Now this, I made a wire tutorial back in the day where I showed how to build a car, and I thought that people could, um, 
relate to this and build their own things because people are like, hey, dude, this is not a beginner's tutorial. You're just showing how to build a car. Well, yes, I was showing how to build a car. And I was hoping that you guys could relate and figure all the stuff out by yourself. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to go through this now. Wire has this thing called putt controller. Now, when you're building a car or a plane or a helicopter or a vehicle in general, this is what you want to use. Because what this thing does, the putt controller, is that when you're sitting, it creates a, it kind of create, creates an um, exception or, or condition. But when you sit in the seat, restricted to only the seat, things will work, which is connected to the putt controller. I hope this makes sense to you. Um, let's just let's just go ahead and build it. So we're gonna spawn it, and right now it's not really connected to anything. But we want this seat to control. This we want this seat to be the car, okay? So we're gonna right click on the seat and right click on the putt controller. Oh, oops! Right click on the putt controller and then they get to the seat. And you can also see there's a little green line that shows that it's connected to the actual seat. Now, okay, so let's just go ahead and get a thruster. Now, of course, um, wire has all of the basic um, wire, uh, the tools like wheel thrusters, all that sort of stuff. So you can also find it and build all the normal stuff that you would with the normal tools. Just wire it, okay? Now, with the thrusters, you'll see that they have an input A. And they, they don't have an output, because you can't really click on them or use them for anything. They'll just have an input, okay? Now, we want the thruster to be controlled by the putt controller. So we're going to click on the thruster. And then you see there are so many fucking outputs here, okay? Now, these W, A, S, and D, mouse 1, are, these are all keys on your keyboard. Which means, when we sit in this seat, Whatever I, let's just say this is W, because we want, of course, the thruster to be activated when we press W. When I sit in it, oops, now when I press W, it won't work, okay? You see, it's not really, like, you normally would in Gears Mod. It'll be activated by W all the time, but this condition makes me able to activate it when I'm sitting in the seat. That's the pot controller, okay? And you, and this is not only for... Um, for thrusters, this can be wheels, this can be turrets. Now let's just go, I want to go ahead and give some more examples so you guys can hopefully figure more stuff out with this. Wire, let's use the turret. This is very, very simple, okay? And let's select like mouse one. So when I'm sitting in the seat, it'll work. When I'm not in the seat, it won't work. And now it will work, now it won't work, okay? More stuff, there are lights. There, basically anything, okay? Anything that Garrismod has, you will be able to find, and you'll be able to also while well, uh, wire it up with the putt controller. Okay. Now, another thing that you guys have been asking for, and I'm just gonna kind of go through it, is how do I make a turret that's controlled with my mouse when I'm sitting in a in a chair? Now, if you remember anything that I just taught you, we can use the putt controller for this, okay? So. I'm gonna spawn something that'll indicate my turret. It'll just be this thing, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And we are going to use the one called the phaser. It's also called the gimbal, but I remember it as a phaser. And I'm pretty sure that you can... Yeah, if you just press R on the prop that you want it to be, so it could be... what It could be any prop, basically. We're just using this one for an example. So this prop is not anything, but this thing is now a phaser, or a gimbal. Which means... When I go, well, I'm going to wire it up, it'll have an on input, X, Y, and Z. Now, these target direction and angles, this is basically for if you are, if you wanted to target a player all the time or target somebody or something, which I can't teach you, but basically you can make thing, you can make wire um, target players or target things uh, or locations for that matter. Um, using, I think it's the beacon sensor, yeah, the beacon sensor, or the, uh, or the target finder, yeah, you can, you can use those together, and they, and it'll make it figure that stuff out, but I suggest you go find another tutorial on that, because I don't know how to use that properly, and I can't teach you right now. Okay, so let's go through this. On, of course, we're going to go back to our pot controller. Now, this is not really, this doesn't really make any sense. But we're going to have to set this to active. Okay, I'm pointing at the screen. I'm not really having my webcam up on right now. <laughs> this active means that this thing will be activated whenever the seat is activated. Which means it'll work when I'm sitting in the seat. Yeah, hello, Chewbacca. Um, so you can see it's screen now. And it's red. I'm not sitting in it. And which means that it'll be on. And we also want the X coordinate. 
for the x-coordinate, the y to the y, and the z to the z. Which means that when this is on, it'll take the um, x, y, and z coordinates of my looking position, and it'll match it. Now, it's facing my, my, my view, okay? Uh, of course, it's bugging out a little bit because right now I'm obviously looking at the actual thing behind in front of me So you're gonna have to make sure there's nothing in front of you But basically you can also do this with vector thrusters and if you know anything about vectors If you had anything in school about that um, You can also do that um, Making a vector thruster and then make that be the X Y and Z coordinates It will always be pulled in one direction and you'll not have this problem with me looking at this thing and of course we can also weld Another turret to this thing because that, that'll work just fine, uh, but I'll leave that up to you To figure that out. It's pretty simple and There we go That is what I think is the, is the most basic things um, Of course, I can also go or um, a thing like the grabber or the forcer now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through all of this I'll throw all of these things and I'll I'll leave some times in the description Okay, so let's let's take a grabber the grabber, I think you can they figure out what it does. It'll grab shit, okay? And the range, well, easy peasy, 100 units. You can make it 1,000 if you want. Doesn't really matter. Just use a button to activate it. And we want this to be toggled. And... Boop. Okay, so let's wire this thing up. Now, as you'll see, grab and strength. So grab is, of course, going to be on out. Now, there are two ways, because right now, uh, the grabbing strength is basically zero, because it hasn't gotten any inputs. It doesn't really know what um, strength it has to grab with. So right now, it's basically nothing. So there's two ways we can deal with this. Either we can set the button to have a grabbing force, which is the on force, right, of 9,900, whatever that. Now it'll be very, very, very strong. When it's scrapping stuff, so let's just just go ahead and add the strength to the out as well So whenever this thing's on you see that it is now set to 99,699 Oh shit, we have to activate it There we go, you see Now we have the thing Yay, and because I disabled gravity it's of course very weird, but that that doesn't really matter Another way we can uh, deal with this um, problem is we can use a thing called constant value. With this tool, we can um, basically have any amount that we want. So we are going to, and you can also add values down here, and you can add, of course, uh, 2D vectors, angles, numbers, strings, whatever. Um, this can be anything. Uh, but there, like, like you can see, there's so much stuff you, you can do. Um, okay. So. Um, we're going to have one value, and this value is going to have, it's going to be a value of, let's just say, uh, 9,000. And we're going to have to use the wire. We're going to just press R on the strength, because we don't want it to be connected to the button. But we do want it to be connected to the constant value. So now, it'll always have a value of 9,000. Okay? And I'll just set this back to 1 to demonstrate. Okay, so now it'll just turn it on and off. Okay, so let's grab another one of these. I'm going to activate it. And there we go. Works perfectly fine. And again, it's the same idea. Alright. And final thing is the forcer. Now, I think this is all just... I'm not really showing you how to build all these things. I'm showing... You know, I am showing you that. But I'm trying to show you to demonstrate. Now, I want you guys to figure all this out by yourself um, in a later point. Because that's really how this works. Um, it's basically the same thing I'm doing over and over again. It's just depending on what the thing does. A forcer, what it does is that it pushes stuff away. So, we have force, office force, velocity, and length. Now, if I just set my button to have a value of 9,000. And I can just wire all of these things. Not the length. To this... All of those will be just 9,000, which means when I activate it, it is very, very strong, okay? As you can probably tell. 
Uh, of course, I don't want to uh, wire up the length because if I did that, the length would be incredibly long, as you can tell. So look, it, it's just gonna keep on pushing me all the time. Um, so yeah, that is basically some things that you can think of. Now, of course, you can co combine this with the, the igniter or the trigger or turrets or whatever. There are so many things that you can use this for, and I suggest that you go look up all of the other things. There are some specific things that you want to build, uh, because I can't go through everything, but this is basically the way of thinking how to wire stuff together, and I hope this has been at least a little bit helpful. Um, if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Go ahead and leave some comments in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.